I have another Black Widow colored pencil video for you. In this video, I am sharing the Dragon set, which is the 4000 edition. I have 36 pencils in here, and I also have the Monarch set, which has 48 pencils in here. Let's get into it. In this video, I will do a swatch of the 36. I've already swatched the 48 colored pencil set. You will also see me color an illustration. I'll be coloring this with both sets of the pencils. And then I will come back and give you my final thoughts about my experience with using these pencils for the first time. The Black Widow color pencils comes packaged like this. You will notice that there will be some tape on the sides like scotch tape. Of course, I have removed that. You will notice that your pencils will come in shrink wrap. I did not take the shrink wrap off for the sake of the video. I wanted you to see it for yourself. So it is shrink wrapped here. Now on the back of both of these colored pencil sets is the colored pencil chart. It says that the chart may vary. And it has the website on here. So if you're interested in going to the website, you can go to the website at blackwidowpencils.com. On the website, what I notice is that you cannot order from the website. It will take you to Amazon to place an order. But what I did also notice is that if you click on any of the color pencils, you will notice that there is two downloads, two PDF downloads, one for the color chart and one for a blank color chart and you can fill that in with your own pencils that you have so you can print that blank chart off and fill it out which i think is pretty cool especially if you don't want to put it in a notebook you can just print it off of the website up first i have the monarch pencils which is a 48 color pencil set and this is how they look i have already swatched these i will show you those swatches in just a little bit but first I want you to take a look at what's in here this is one of the pencils this is the Monarch Hot Pink MN086 and these pencils are hexagonal they're not round so if you like hexagonal pencils I think they're ergonomically designed to be a little bit it should be better for your hand. I don't know <laughs> the research on that. I tend to like hexagonal or hexagonal pencils myself. These come with two trays of 24. This is the first tray, which I do believe looks more like pastel collection here. What I'm noticing with these pencils is that there is a strong odor to these. And I don't like that. <laughs> I never like to smell something that's too strong. It may not be anything to it. I just do not like to smell uh, something that's strong. The second tray has more neutrals. Here are a few, two browns, some neutrals, some shades of dark blues and a purple, and then some more shades of blues and some more greens. They still have these unique names, and I will show you that with the swatch. If you have Black Widow pencils, how do you store them? Let me know in the comments. Here is the swatch for the Monarch set. Look at these beautiful swatches. They are pigmented. I didn't have an issue with laying the color down in my journal here. I swatched them fairly quickly. The colors are vibrant. Over here on the left-hand side, these are the the first tray that i showed you which is this tray these are the ones i swatched these look to be more pastel the pastel colors are vibrant and pigmented i have something to compare to this and here it is these are pastel tints from castle arts these are not that pigmented i'm going to zoom in so you can see what i'm talking about and I have colored with these before. I did not like the experience. But I want you to see that these are not really that pigmented. They're pigmented, but they're to me too light. 
even when I colored something with them, they tend to kind of disappear when I put light on them so that I can take a photo. But here are the Monarch pastels. They are more pigmented, more saturated. I didn't have an issue with swatching these colors. I enjoyed it, actually. And of course, these have the unique names. I'm just going to name a few, but you can kind of glance and see them for yourself. Mushroom, Bliss, Fudge. I think a fudge is being chocolate, but this is more like, looks like a salmon pink to me. We have cool green candy, green slime, green tea, antler, light bronze. So these are the colored pencil swatches for the first tray of pencils, these. This side of the page, you'll see, of course, it's more pigmented. It's more saturated with color. I think all their pencils are really saturated. These are the swatches for these pencils, which is the second tray. Now you can see that we have some greens here, more blues purples, a few more blues, and then we have some neutrals, grays in here, then two browns, mahogany, rusty, rusty dusty, <laughs> gunmetal, oyster, opal, ocean, sapphire. I enjoy swatching these pencils. I cannot wait to use them. I am ready to start swatching the Black Widow Dragon set. There are 36 pencils in this set. This is the first tray. And you will notice that in this first tray, I see more reds, pinks, and oranges. A little long couple of, yeah, well, a yellow. On the camera, these look yellow, but this is more like a, a peach color down here. You'll see when I swatch. This is the first tray. And the second tray is here. It appears to have more greens in here. This is Ruby Rose DG159. DG stands for dragon. It has that dragon symbol on the pencil here. I am ready to start swatching. It is time to swatch. As you see, I swatch on the left side with medium to medium heavy pressure, not too heavy, but enough to lay the color down on the paper. And then on the right side of the swatch, I do a light handed swatch because I want to see how it looks that way. Because sometimes when I color, I just want to lay it down light. And though I am laying it down light, I want to see how it appears because they will look different. Medium hand and a light hand will look totally different. With this particular swatch on this side or these swatches, I noticed that these appear to be more in the pastel family. There are some beautiful colors and they are vibrant and pigmented and you're probably going to get tired of me saying that but i think they are especially since they are more on the budget friendly side of the <laughs> scale yeah you don't find many pencils like this moving right along you will notice that there is more green, more blues, some purples, and neutrals, quite a few grays, and some brown thrown in the mix.
It is now time to put these colored pencils to the test and I am using an illustration from the Simplicity Coloring Book. If you want to see a flip through of that coloring book, just simply click the top right hand corner or refer to the description box. Do know that I am incorporating both of the color pencil sets in this illustration, the Monarch and the Dragon. Here you see me using a light colored pencil. To color this illustration, I am not trying to make it look all fancy. I'm just trying to get some color on the paper. Sometimes you just want to relax and color without worrying about how something is going to look. And that's what I'm doing for this particular illustration I'm just coloring something I would just normally do to relax anyway I'm going in with a darker shade to make it a little bit darker and you will notice that I will use different pencils to achieve what I want to achieve but again I'm not trying to make it look all fancy I'm just trying to see how these pencils work under different situations and when I say different situations I'm just coloring as an amateur person who grabs some pencils let's see how these pencils are going to work and they are doing a great job Here I grab my lighter blue color to put down the color or to just kind of seal everything in, mesh them all together. That's the way I look at it. And I am using heavier pressure here, just so you know. I am using a red colored pencil here, which is from the dragon set. And I'm going to saturate these little areas with the red. I don't want any white to be shown. And I'm also going to use this red to accent the building around the bottom and the top, as you see. This pressure is not light, but it's not really heavy either I'm coloring enough to make sure that the white space is covered and coated with the colored pencil but not to the point where it's just burnished you still see a little bit of white but not a whole lot of white next I am going in with a darker blue very pretty blue I like this color I am using medium to heavy pressure. I want to cover the white space, but not to the point where it is burnished. I do want the blue to stand out. I don't want a lot of white space left. I pulled a few greens from the Monarch set and I am applying first a lighter shade and then I'm going to go over it with a darker shade. I think I messed up on the left hand side, <laughs> but nevertheless, I am getting it done. And I'm just lightly applying this color. I'm not trying to um, color hard at all. Here I 
I am applying a lighter green over it to kind of mesh the colors together. That's what you see here. I started off with a lighter shade of brown from the Dragon set, and then I am going to apply some darker shades of brown to, I guess, the bark of the tree. <laughs> And that's what you see me doing here. I think this part of the illustration is sand. I am applying a lighter color, which is from the Monarch set, the pastel. And then I'm going in with darker shades of the pastel colors for the sand. Now, this probably can be water, but I... I'm looking at it as sand for some reason. That's what's going on here. Time to color the sky. I am using two pencils from the Dragon set, a blue and a purple shade. And I am using a light hand. For the sky, I want the white of the paper to show. Therefore, I have to use a light hand. The next pencil that I am going to use will be the purple and it will be more toward the top of the sky. I am thinking that it is nighttime or the sun is setting, it's getting dark and that's why I'm going with the darker shade of blue and with the shade of purple that I selected. First time I had the lead to break on me so that's not bad. Time to color the border. I am using a pencil from the Monarch set, a shade of blue. I am coloring heavy, but not too heavy because you will still see some white of the paper. I am using medium pressure and still the color is getting put down on the page very nicely. Now when you increase your pressure, of course, your lid is going to go down. And so that's what has happened here. Yep. Just going back over the edge here to make sure some stuff is covered. But I'm not using heavy pressure here. Okay. So this is my illustration and this is how it turned out. I colored this fairly quickly and I used a combination of the dragon and the monarch pencils. I think I used more monarch pencils than I did dragon. I have some monarch, you see monarch, 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 monarch. Monarch has the um the lighter colors. Then you have some dragon here, more dragon. Just wanted to kind of show you that dragon for the red. The darker colors are from the dragon set. The lighter colors are from the Monarch set. That's what I'm noticing. 
this is the color that I was going to use to color around here. Anyway, I think the blue went better. This is another dragon. Yeah, so the lighter colors you see are in the Monarch set. I use Monarch pencils as well as dragon pencils for, to do the color. Now, I didn't use all of these pencils, but I used some of them. The ones, yeah, some I still have a point on them because I didn't really use, use them like that. Just had them out just in case I wanted to use them. So this is my finished illustration. I am back to give you my final thoughts about the Monarch and the Dragon colored pencil sets from Black Widow. First of all, take a look at my illustration. I think it turned out pretty good. I was not trying to be fancy or anything with this. I just colored and I enjoyed the whole process. I didn't have to worry about pressing too hard to get color on the page. In some places, I was heavy handed to get the color to go where I wanted it to go. And I also didn't want any white space showing in certain areas. But for the most part, this whole page has a lot of white space and I am not worried about it at all. I am loving it. What I love about these pencils is that I don't have to try so hard to put color on the page. It's fairly easy. I had a lot of fun coloring this illustration. You've already seen the swatches. You know what the deal is. This is the Monarch 48 pencil set. All I can say is that we have a lot of saturation and it's vivid. When I was coloring with them, it took a little bit more effort than it would to lay down color, let's say with a Prismacolor or a Faber-Castell Polychromo. That's to be expected, right? But it's not too far behind those pencils, but these are pretty good, pretty good. They're cheaper too. And you know, you're getting some good vibrancy in these pencils. You're getting a lot of pigment. They just pop really likes the color colors. They're vibrant, have it going on. And also these are the pencils, the sets and I'm not missing any pencils, I promise you. I have the pencils that I colored the illustration with. I didn't put them back in there. But that's it. Overall, I do like these pencils and I will be coloring more illustrations with these pencils in the future to see how I really like them. If you made it here, to this portion of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And also know that in my next video, I have one more Black Widow color pencil set to show you. And those are the skin tones. I don't know too much about coloring skin tones. I'm weak in that area, but hey, I just wanna show you the pencils. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep coloring and I will see you in the next video.